Hi everyone, Allie the Agent here. Just wanted to share something. I always learn something new during renovation or really any time in my job. I have to update the electric panel. The electric panel actually is large, but it only is 100 amps. And since I'm adding mini splits, that's gonna require a, a lot more ampage. Typically in a single family home, the standard is 200. So if your electric panel is full or if you only have 100 amps, more than likely just expect that you're going to update your electric panel. The electrician wanted to either do a two gang or a single gang socket. And what that means is that the two gang would allow for both wires to be merged into one wire. I'm probably not using the correct terms. And then the single socket, there would be still two wires going up the house for the 200 amp service. So unfortunately, the two gang, which is an $800 difference, is not in stock. So we will have to go with a single one. If I had the choice, I probably would spend the extra 800 and have the two gangs so that there's only one wire. But because the whole project is basically on hold waiting for this electric panel, I'm just going to leave it. Those decisions happen. I learned a little something. Moral of the story is to always check your electric panel when you're visiting a home. I always check the electric panel when I'm doing showings because it's really important. Because if you have any renovations down the road, that being updated is just an added cost that you need to account for. That's all for now. Take care. Yeah.